Hey everybody, um, another video for you. I know I've been away for a little while, for about a week or two now. Sorry, um, I've had a lot going on. I've been quite ill. I'm still ill, but I'm kind of trying to put on a brave face and just get on with it because I hate being sick and I hate like letting that dictate how my days go. Um, so as you can see, I'm in a completely different environment. My voice probably sounds echoey and reverby and stuff because I'm in my bathroom. We're getting it redecorated at the moment. It's almost done. The towels are up. You can see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cream and like a metallic y colour. Um, we've got a mirror that's going to be going on this wall over here. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would try it out in here because the lighting seems a lot better. And I don't have to use um, my glary light, which usually only lights one side of my face more than the other. So I'm trying this out. If you don't like it, please let me know. There probably will be two or three videos in this room with me in this outfit because I'm doing it in bulk because, you know, my weeks are quite busy and um, I haven't been able to record that much during the week. But, um, yeah, I hope you like these videos and stay tuned. Bye. Okay, hey, everybody. Um, so I'm starting with my kind of everyday foundation routine. Um, it has been requested. And I thought I would just do it because, um, so you guys can see how I put my foundation on on, a, on days like now that it's spring and it's getting a little bit more sunny outside and stuff like that. Um, so I haven't even moisturised my face for you. I'm going to do that now. Um, so you're going to get to see pretty much everything from the beginning of what I do. And I'm also going to be giving you other options of what I sometimes do on days where I want less coverage and days where I want more coverage. So stay tuned. Okay, hey everybody. Um, I'm going to get straight started I'm gonna get into the look straight away sorry one minute I'm just gonna bend down and put some stuff down um, okay so first of all um, I'm going to moisturize my face when I want a lighter coverage I'll sometimes mix my moisturizer with a foundation it usually will be um, L'Oreal Studio Fix foundation in deep chocolate I think is the color um, and the reason why I use that one it is really dark but if I mixed with a moisturizer it gives me like a nice hand look rather than coverage if that makes any sense I look it doesn't really give me any coverage but it gives me a, a tanned look like I've been in the sun uh, so moisturizer Avino and I'm just gonna put that on my face I use a really tiny amount um, because I have oily skin so I don't really need a lot I kind of rub it in between my fingers like that and then starting at my cheeks because and then around my mouth is where I put it because that's the areas of my face that um, kind of need the most amount of um, product and I kind of go like that and flick it upwards um, and yeah just put that all over and let it soak in so moisturizer applied as you can see I have dark circles and I also have some blemishes for you as well so I, I couldn't do a tinted moisturized look I would have to do foundation to cover up the redness of the spots and also my dark circles now with my dark circles I do I cover them in two different ways sometimes I apply concealer before foundation sometimes I can conceal after foundation and sorry three different ways and sometimes I conceal both before and after especially at night when I want a more flawless look and um, on this particular occasion I'm gonna do it after but I just want to quickly show you a new product that I got um, for concealing that um, I, I do use now at night I've only had it for a few days but um, I do like it already. Revlon Color Stay um, Foundation for Normal to Dry Skin in Toast. And it's this one here. And I remember previously I said that it has like a really greasy finish and that I didn't know whether I liked it. I liked how it looked when it dried, but etc. etc. I was kind of bitching about it. But since then I've been using it every day and I really love it. Like once it dries and it's been set, it is amazing like it lasts so long it's so close to my natural skin color and I just love it you know so I'm gonna use that today so I put some on the back of my hand and again I think I put a bit too much but yeah and then get some on my brush and then I kind of start where the discoloration is on my cheeks I don't know if you can see that but they're there and I start and that's where I deposit the color first and then I kind of blend it around the rest of the cheek area afterwards. And I don't need a lot for every day. Like I literally only cover really that area of 
my face and then blend it everywhere else. Um, yeah. And you should hear. For my concealer, I'm actually going to use the new palette. Um, just to kind of show you what it looks like. Sorry if I keep bending down, it's because I put stuff on the floor around me and I'm kind of picking it up. Um, so I'm going to use my foundation brush as well. And I think I'm going to use a blend of this kind of really pale salmon y white with the kind of colour that's closest to my skin tone and kind of mix them together um, for my concealing colour so to speak and then I kind of just starting there I'm just patting that on and then using my finger to blend it right up Um, and if you can tell the difference between that eye and that eye already, you can kind of see, even though I haven't blended it in properly, the difference. So yeah, it's, it's looking pretty darn good. Now I set my foundation and I use Rimmel Perfect Match um, Creamy Compact Powder. And so it is a foundation, but I find that it it's a really lightweight powder and it blends it really well. It, it, it sets my makeup in a much more natural way than um, my collection 2000 one does. But I do like that one as well. So yeah, get some on the brush, tap off the excess, starting on my forehead this time. I kind of pat and swirl, so I kind of do a combination between the two. And then bring it down to my nose um, and around my mouth area and I kind of pat there. And um Okay, um and the next thing that's changed is I have I used to contour every day or every other day or whenever I wore foundation, but I haven't been doing that. I've been using um, this accessorised blush, um, this merged blusher in Bombshell. The writing in the back's kind of rubbed off, but um, that's why I was kind of squinting to see what it was. And I love it, it gives like a really nice sun-kissed look. And it kind of looks like a bronzer, but with a blush. So I just get a smaller paddle brush like this, sweeping it in there, tapping off the excess and putting it kind of just below where I would normally put my blush, which is like here but I'm putting it not as low and as defined as my contour so kind of in between and doing bigger circular motions and that gives like a really natural flushed look I don't know if you can see it on in this lighting I haven't checked how makeup looks in this lighting but hopefully you can and I just kind of swirl it and I find that that kind of gives me some definition in like my face and then I kind of put it on the apples, whatever's left on the brush. And also sometimes I use my um, shimmer brick in Rose Glow on top to kind of highlight and stuff like that. But again, I'm not going to be doing that today. Um, I am going to do some eyeshadow for you. And on days where I'm doing like a really natural look, I will just do one sweep of colour and that's it. The colour I'm going to use is this one right here, which is kind of like a bronzy brown. Um, and it's in this number 7 palette. Loaded my brush and I'm just sweeping that all over the lid. And when I want it to last all day, instead of just sweeping it, I'll press it in and pack it in because that will make it last a lot longer. And I'll apply it wet or damp um, if I want it to last longer as well. But yeah, I'll just do that. Um, and will I highlight it today? Yeah, why not? And from this same palette, I just used the vanilla -y colour, which has a slight shimmer to it as well, but a very slight shimmer. And I'm just going to slightly put that underneath there. 
Jesus. Um, it went down a little bit. And that is it for eyeshadow. Next is brows and mascara. For my brows, I just use this anyway clear brow gel. I don't always fill my brows in because my brows are quite full, but they just have kind of like a weird shape there, so I sometimes fill that edge in. But I just go in with the brow gel on most days and kind of get out some of the excess product or foundation that has gotten into my brows. <laughs> Once that's done, I apply mascara, and today I'm using Collection 2000 Big Fake False Lash Effect Mascara, which I do love. It's amazing for such a cheap mascara, and it's so easy and quick to apply, which is why it's a, a very fun choice for morning um, application when I'm rushing to go to work. Okay, now for the lips, um, and when I'm usually doing my lips I either wear just lip gloss just lipstick or lip or a combination of lip liner and lip gloss lip liner and lipstick or all three today I am going to do lip liner and lip gloss When I'm doing a lip liner, I kind of like to define my lips with it, but slightly. Pressing my lips together to kind of make it look a bit more natural. And then I just apply lip gloss. And as you can see, that's like a nice nude lip, and it's quite quick and easy. And throughout the day, I might carry both, or I might just carry the lip gloss, or I might just carry a shiny-ish lipstick. My favourite nude lipstick is this one at the moment, anyway, which is my Maybelline one in Bourbon Caramel Toffee Cream. I kind of interchange between this and my Vital Radiance um, lipstick in Bare, and this one goes really nicely with it it's really really nice so yeah I'll do that um yeah so that was kind of my everyday makeup slash foundation routine that is kind of what I do every day as you can see it gives quite good results hopefully this shows off well in the camera so uh, yeah stay tuned and you should hear I've loved I've loved the good times